How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video and if you're not aware my name is Luke and welcome to Ranger Media. We've got a really good video today, really good one and probably judged by the sort of first sort of intro clip. Um, if you're not aware and you're just sort of joining us, this is a little thing I'm doing called Irish Ranger Month where I'm really dissecting into my regiment, the Royal Irish, so which makes you even more aware if you're not, this is a military oriented channel. And it's going to be everything over the next course of the summer, we're going to be discussing all sort of different aspects of the Royal Irish Regiment in specific, but if you're going to go infantry or if you're going to go army or you're just interested in the military, there's obviously something here for you as well. As we progress during into the summer then, we're going to look at all sorts of different tips and we'll be looking at health and fitness, how to train uh, military styles, so like um, how to get ready for tests, and if you're done the test, just how to sort of keep on top of your fitness, motivation, we're going to talk about kit, so that's non-issue kit, uh, stuff that's specific to, you know, out on the field, uh, supplements, um, all sorts of things that we're going to, you know, that we can be evolved in around this sort of job. Because everyone just thinks army, that's like the sort of, oof, the center of it. Everything can spider web off it. There's lots of stuff um, that we can sort of relate to in this channel. And the big one is going to be a uh, kit uh, and, and all that sort of stuff and what we use. So with fitness and, and out, you know, out on the ground, flipping words are starting to go already. <clears throat> uh, and speaking of kit, look at the state of this. Garmin watch. We're not going to go big into this because it's obviously not what the video is about. But, uh, this is the best watch I've ever used for training and for everything. And the strap is now absolutely um, dying on me. So I need to stop being a cheap skate and get a new strap. Anyway, into the video then. So what we're gonna be talking about today is mortars. So that is um, another specialization you can do in the infantry. In specific, we're gonna talk about an Irish Ranger mortars. It's, you know, there's no, I'm putting the name on it, but that's in our battalion, but they'll be ran the same way in all the sort of different infantry regiments. Reservists, I've got a sort of video coming, hopefully in the next sort of three weeks, specific to you, because I did do one uh, uh, last year. I'm gonna really delve into that and hopefully get a reservist on and sort of speak to them and how they relate their job. How I'm, why I'm sort of touching on reservists there is this specialization here then, uh, you can do this in the reserve. Definitely you can do it in two or lash. So the second battalion in my regiment, which is a reservist um, battalion. I'm not sure which other battalions out there within the different infantry regiments have this capability. If you are a part of them, please jump in the comment section and let us know. But definitely, like I discussed on my last video about Salt Pioneers and one more lash, which is the regular battalion, the second battalion does not have that capability. This is a totally different case. Two or large reservists have this capability, mortars. Um, so I'm gonna jump down, same as our last one, I'm gonna to speak to guys who are in that sort of uh, platoon. They've just recently joined the platoon. They're gonna talk about the carter, uh, how to get on the carter, what the carter's like, and sort of what's next for them. Mortars is gleaming, you know, making all these videos i'm really getting to really like microscope on all these sort of different specializations and i'm learning a lot, a lot more than what i've ever learned in the flipping past 13 14 odd years in the army and um, this is a gleaming thing especially if you're you know you've got sort of interests and in, in, in different sort of aspects of soldiering this is a hundred percent a flipping gleaming route to go down you could actually follow your whole career path if you really wanted to so uh, ranger being obviously our lowest rank all the way up to W2, which is Sergeant Major. So you could do a full 22 years and um, jumping all the way up through this sort of platoon. And it's a very tight neck platoon. So if you think about uh, an infantry regiment being very tight neck as it is, this platoon itself uh, becomes very more tight neck, tight neck, tight neck. A very big bond within the platoon itself. Um, so enough of me talking. Let's jump down and speak to the guys in the mortar platoon. Ranger Gordon. Um, Ranger Jenkins. Ranger Briars. Ranger Guy. Okay, so how long have you been? Um, how long have you been an Irish Ranger? I've been in the battalion for six years. I've just been over a year. I've just been two and a half years. I've been in since a year and a half. And uh, so, what what made you choose to become uh, an Irish Ranger mortarman? Why why pick that course out of all these sort of other specialisations? Uh, it's, it's more of a senior uh, company and platoon to come over to, and it's obviously a change of scenery from being a rifleman. Obviously, I was a bit more a bit more interested in being a mortarman. It's a different weapon system to use as well. Yeah, I enjoyed the fact that you get to put bombs down barrels and watch them land and blow up. So, what? Um, so you've obviously you've picked now to be mortarman. You're obviously now mortarman in, in the Irish, as an Irish Ranger. How do you go about doing it? 
you need a strong back because the heavy carries uh, right. it's very challenging but um, it's a fun fact that like uh, Mortimer take up is 80% of the army uh, the firepower okay happy days um, so like you, for instance if someone doesn't go straight in from Catrick um, how, how do you how do you get onto the, the onto the course itself and then how long is the course um, the Cumberland Mortimer there's a six week long Carter the first two weeks it's normally class lessons, then the next four, so we're like out firing exercise for a couple of days, just getting like your hands on, yeah. like home tests. Right, okay, cool. So what, so you're, you're going over the motor bio, which is obviously in the background itself, so I take it you're just going to learn what that does inside and out? Yeah, so you literally go from the basics right up until, so we, you do the basic motor car, you learn all the ins and outs of the motor, how to fire it, how to set it up. How to level it, and then obviously later on after that, but a bit of, after they've been in motors for a while, they'll go on to your pre quarter for the XX, which is more or less leading up to your Bravos, and you eventually get to there. Right, okay, so, and what, what, what was Bravos? Bravos is basically, so, if you be call it your fire missions, yeah. how to fucking call them in and stuff like that there. It's basically the XX is more or less like a pre course, and you basically learn some of them uh, fundamentals of how to do that job. Yeah, and then so you were mentioned there on the quarter car itself, which was ran by the regiment, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So whenever you go on that, what's it like firing um, the motor live for the first time? Well, it gives you a bit of a adrenaline rush anyway. Right. Okay. You can feel the shock wave off the motor, like actually firing off the the round. It's different from firing a rifle, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. And uh, what 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 sort of position are you on that course? Can you see where your where full of shot and stuff is? Uh, are you literally firing it off and then you're not seeing where the order is? It just depends. Uh, where we were lucky enough on the car that we could see where the fall came and where the bomb was landing, so it was yeah. pretty good uh, to see it, but uh, in a real life kind of situation, I don't know if you would see it. Yeah, it just depends. How it is. And um, just still why we're on the Carter itself, obviously, you had a bit of a, a special thing at the, towards the end of your Carter. Can you tell me a little bit about what that was whenever you done the sort of joint fires? Uh, we joined up with the artillery and then um, pretty much we were laying down mortar fire whilst they were using their equipment to try and lock onto us. So uh, then we just kept um, firing with them and then uh, they really liked it. It's good. Okay, so what you use a uh, firing, collapsing the mortar and then moving on foot somewhere to fire again, that type of thing, is it? So it was basically a game of cat and mouse, we'd fire and then they would try and lay us on to where our fall shot was and then try and get us and then obviously when we after that there, you need to try and bug out. So now we're talking about sort of playing that sort of cat and mouse game um, to train them and train you. What sort of, what methods do you use to move across the ground in the different sort of wherever we may be found? So the husky, we use the husky, uh, you can load all the kit on, it's big enough to load all the kit on, fit everyone in, uh, and then everyone's got their roles within the husky, so when uh, when you do you need to crash out and fucking put the mortars out, then you do it so in a certain routine. Happy days. So you're using that, and then obviously as well, because we're infantiers, you're obviously going to use your feet as well. Yeah, mostly. And, which you obviously mentioned about the, the heavy carry. Yeah, the heavy carry is a tight shift. Right, happy days. So, um, you're, so we've got all that, so what is the... Um, what would be the sort of next step then for you as user now, motor men? So what are, what are you trained now to do? Set up the set up the motor, fire the bombs off and more or less get, come onto the barons of where the targets are. So what we're trained to do is basically put down the firepower for, yep. the, right, for the likes of rifle companies. Okay, happy days. And then what's the next step for you then within, within the platoon? We'll do the exec carder. So the next carder that comes in, they'll learn what we've just learned and then we'll move up to what uh, the next stage to the exec. We get a sight on, so we'll sit in the CV tent and lock on. And there's a little computer you lock on where the, the bombs are going to land and you actually uh, call, like you don't call in the bombs but you, uh, you locate where the bombs are going to land. Happy days, so you, you have to make some calculations and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, so you're, we're having, you're having to use your heads really? Yeah. Right. Um, and then um, a after that, so what is that Lance Corporal or still still Ranger at that stage? Uh, I think it's I think it's Lance Corporal. Lance yeah, Corporal. Point, yeah. And then what's next then? Obviously you've, you've came here, you've obviously various experiences with, within the rifle companies, you've done your course, you're qualified, you're now Irish Ranger Mortarman. What's the sort of next for you within the platoon? Not career wise, but like look forward to as such. Any live farm for there? Uh, yeah. That'd be it'd be a good opportunity to get more live firing um and to practice while we'd be working concurrent with the rifle companies. Right, cool. Hope it's it's different because obviously we done it as a rifle company two years ago in Magic Storm, so coming across from doing it in the motors perspective would be, be actually quite good. Like. Okay, so would you say then, like, because I go on to a rifle company doing that kind of exercise, you don't know what's going on? The no, you don't know the bigger picture, you know what I mean? We're all there to support fight, you don't know what yeah. they're doing, so you're only obviously honing in on what you're doing as a rifleman. Yeah. You obviously forget about motors, guns, and all that, etc. And now you're in the position where you're, you're, you know the bigger picture yeah. and you've got that wiring. Happy yeah. days.
Um, good. And uh, what we'll end off is, what bit of advice would you give to anyone who's interested in going taking your route um, to, to get through it or do sell it. to them? Do, do it. it. Yeah, definitely do it. Do it. Yeah, definitely do it. Hi, right, happy days. Right, cheers, lads. And there we go, that's uh, the first battalion more one one Royal Ash. <laughs> the first battalion Royal Ash Regiment's Mortar Platoon. Uh, and they're guys who have just recently done the Carter. Uh, and you know what a time to be about. Excuse me. They are just at the early stages of their career. And they're just jumped into it there. Uh, and it just shows you then the mortars, all the sort of different capabilities we've got in the infantry and listening to them, all the sort of different things. If you're talking about what they're doing, you gotta pull out sort of what you sort of need to be in there if they didn't sort of say it is you know, you've got to be that confident person. You obviously got to be physically fit for all the kit and equipment to carry. Um, you've got to have something up here in between the ears as well. You know, gone a day where all, all these, like, where whoever is just says consistently about, you know, you need to stay away from the infantry. You know, you're not, your brain will turn to much because you're mush because you're not going to use it all the time. You're just hearing it there. You know, all the calculations and, and stuff and, and equations that they need to do and to get that fired down accurately. And you've got to remember, you know, I know I made this sort of cool wee video at the very end to get you all motivated and stuff about it when it just shows you all them on rapid fire with the mortar barrels. But they know where them rounds are hitting precisely where they're going. Um, it was in a 100, 100 meter radius, certainly. Uh, but to do all that there is, you know, they've got to work for it. They've got to do all the calculations. They've been on the courses. Uh, there, there is a lot of sort of effort put into that sort of, um, you know, how they do that. And that's just really sort of um, backing up all my sort of stuff that I've done about on the channel over the last sort of load of months anyway, uh, about, you, you know, you have to have a brain to be in the infantry. And certainly uh, it's not a place where just, you know, you can do the bare minimum and, and that does it. So please, if uh, you like that video, uh, or if you've got any other questions, reference that, uh, please drop it in the comment section below and I'll get straight back to you. Right, uh, next video then is gonna be on Thursday. So I'm gonna leave this one down to you. So I've got a few in the back pocket um, as such, but, so I'm going to give you a choice. So you've got heavy weapons. So heavy weapons, machine guns. That's the platoon. Uh, and then I've got two sniper ones. The sniper one drew out very, very long. And I've divided it into two videos. Um, one of them I'm keeping to next week. But the other one I'll be opening up to use the vote for. So you've got between the heavy weapons platoon or a sniper video. Um, and that will be his... That will be kit and equipment for the sniper, yeah? Um, so I'll leave it here. Uh, please drop in the comment section which one you think you'd like or which one you want. Uh, I will then look at it before midnight, um, before midnight on Monday night, and I make the decision. And the reason for that being then is I need to start editing in there uh, before Thursday comes to publish. And so yes, I will leave that down to you. And is that uh, the other thing? Then obviously bi-weekly live stream this week. Seventy percent there with a guest. Seventy percent there. Don't know if it's going to fall through. If it does, I'm still gonna honor it and I will do a live stream, but I hope it's just gonna be me. I will make it as entertaining as possible if it's just me and we'll discuss some, uh, we'll do, I'll get a topic and we'll discuss it at the same time. I'm just talking with you on the chat as well, but obviously evolving around that sort of main topic and then the sort of chat coming inside. But if we get the guest, it will be even better. Um, but if you don't get the guest this week, it's definitely gonna be um, the next time, but it's 100% there'll be a live stream. So you're gonna get three videos this week. So you're gonna get obviously the one you just watched, whatever one you choose for Thursday, and then that live stream, and that's gonna do us. Tickety-boo. Um, yes, and then 
by the weekend then. So the live, will it be the live stream? Possibly the live stream if it's the weekend or whenever it is, I'll be announcing the 5K giveaway. We've now obviously passed that. We're, I think we're in 5,100, 5, which is flipping amazing. Um, but I've now got one of my sort of uh, pictures, sent it away to get printed, big size, poster size. So like that, very high quality, uh, and it's off a sniper. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna be giving that away. Uh, massive big thing, I've sent that away to get that done. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait till we get it there and we'll just do the unboxing and, and we'll flip in, uh, we'll flip in, we'll unbox it, show you the quality, uh, and then call out who it's gonna be then, and then that'll be sent away to whoever the lucky winner is to have that. Right, boom, that is it. Please, hope you had a really good weekend, uh, and I'll see you again at the very end of the week. And remember about Instagram and everything else, but I will be a lot more active on here in stories. Uh, and I'll see you again on the next video. Go and try this. No fear, only fight. I'm fearless, it's only right. My head's up, I stay strong. Forever young, may you live long. With perseverance.